Now, I came up today and I thought, oh, I'll put this Nicana away and I thought, well, put my neck, it's got to be the last time it's ever used and, you know, when I've gone in a year or two, it'll probably be chucked in a skip or something. So I thought, oh, I'll do something with it. So anyway, we've had a go. I'll, we'll show you it later, maybe. It's not that good, but it's, uh, it's just something for amusement. Anyway, the other thing is, I've had a few questions about my engine. And I said about the oiling. Well, of course, you can oil the, the bearings, aren't a problem. Just put a drop of oil in. You know, that's dead easy to do. But the trouble is, I ended up having to weld the carrier for the piston push rod. Right? Had to weld it on. So the pistons actually welded in. So the only way to get any oil into the piston is to fill the inlet pipe with the spool valve in the inlet position and then tip it up and uh, get some oil in that way before I run it. So that's why you can't run it long, you see. And obviously, on air it won't be too bad because it's, it's, not going, it's got to last a little while. But as you know, I mean, that's what steam cleaners are about. You know, it soon blasts the oil out of the way, doesn't it? So that's why we can't run it long. It wasn't designed to do that. Anyway, so what I'll do, I'll just uh, put some oil in again. And I thought, well, while we set up, you know, it's a very simple job to reset up from yesterday. And a few people said they like to see it running. So I thought, well, just for a quick video, you know, we'll have a go. Oh, just one more thing. I'll go into it in more detail sometime. Now, to get a flywheel running through, or line things up, there's a practical and a theoretical way of doing it. I think everyone who's done out knows this. Anyway, it doesn't matter how good you are, especially with small things, because even my little mammal, the bloody flywheel looks wonky and I don't like to see it. So what you have to do is mount the flywheel on the shaft and then leave it. If I took this off, Tony, to hold on with that grub screw thing there, look. If I take this off and put it back, it'll be wonky. So what you have to do is put it on, do it as accurately as you can to start with, put it on the shaft, but then do the OD in the sides with it on the shaft. And that's the only way you'll get them to run through. Okay, I've got lift off look. It's only just turning it, but it is doing. going but I think we might be having to make do with a few short runs today you've got to get the water just right if you, I may have overfilled it slightly but I don't think it's going to keep running you're not quite getting enough steam look So you've got to get everything just right.
Right, you see, even with my glow lamp on, we weren't quite getting enough out of this boiler. So what I'll do, I'll give you a quick little look at the at the factory while it runs. And as I say, I have to just keep cutting the video for these bits. And there's the safety valve blown off. Do you get that? <laughs> there you are. Someone ask about the safety valve. Well, we have one. How about that? Right. Didn't quite want to play ball today, but you've seen it. And you've seen my factory I made. So what we'll do, we'll... Um, It'll be now taken to pieces and put away and let's hope that uh, it sees the light of day again someday. Right, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this and that was alright. You see how safe it is, the fire extinguisher just blew a bit of steam out and you, you were out the way, you know, wasn't, it was safe. So that's that you saw the safety valve work. And you've seen a bit of the engine running. So how about that? Right, we'll not make this too long, as usual. And it's a one camera edit today. I got it round my neck yesterday. <laughs> Alright, thanks. See ya.